On this episode of Large Person Wanderings, we're going to do something a little different today. One of my big hobbies that I'm into is interested in N-scale trains today. So we're going to have a little segment called Run Your Train Sunday. I'll showcase my collection of N-scale. As you can see, one day, maybe soon, hopefully you can, can actually get an N-scale layout. If you guys know of anybody that's all the N-Scale layout builders, please leave the comments down in the comments below and send me a link. I'd very much appreciate it, because you can kind of see what my little <coughs> setup looks like today. And so, how are we doing today, Tell me? And are you ready to play some more trains? Alright, we'll let you pick out the trains today. train consist. We've got kind of some unique stuff. we got some uh, Kano Amtrak auto train cars. It's really neat. And we have several of the heritage units going by. A nice collection of mixed freight cars. Up next on Run Your Trun Sunday is the Glacier Express and N scale, which is Kato. So, this is kind of a unique thing because it's actually a meter gauge train that is made for N scale. So, up next, we have the Bernia Bond Express by Kato and N scale. As people can see, this is another very unique piece of equipment because it has. <laughs> serves two purposes so you got the passenger train and also up front it looks like typical things you'd see on your uh, run-of-the-mill light rail pieces of equipment as you go get on light rail to go around town so it's kind of neat where light rail is pulling passenger cars Next on the showcase today is the Cato N Scale CBQ Nebraska Zephyr. So up next is the CN Cato Transcontinental Train. It's a really pretty looking set. Up next is the Cato N Scale California Zephyr with pulled by a Cato N Scale Alco PA1 Denver Rear Grand Western. It's a really, really pretty looking train. One of the larger sets that Cato produces, being 11 cars. And up next on the showcase is the N Scale Cato Milwaukee Road Hiawatha set, which is an absolutely stunning set. It's one of my truly favorite sets in my collection. I just love all the variety of the passenger cars and how pretty the paint scheme is on it. Next is the Cato N Scale Southern Pacific SP Daylight Train. And hopefully one day I will get the GS4 or the 484 steam locomotive goes with it. This train is really pretty because it has articulated cars on it, which are all coupled together and they flex in the middle, kind of like an articulated bus. It's really neat. 
next is the Cato InScale um, Amtrak El Capitan set, which is different, has some really neat, unique looking cars on it, from single levels to double levels. It's time to release the inner Amtrak fan in all of us. Next is the Cato Amtrak Southwest Limited. It's really a nice little set. Up next is the Cato N Scale City of Los Angeles set, which is a quite something, a very large set. It's a left car set. It really has some really pretty UP passenger cars on it, that's for sure. All the cars are different, which is neat. Up last is the Cato N Scale UP Excursion Train. Unfortunately, I do have the UP 844. My curves are just a little bit tight for it to run, so it constantly derails. Otherwise, I'd run it, but otherwise, this train is another one that is quite beautiful. And all the cars are quite different to look at, which is really neat. Last is a nice little CP grain train for you. A few hun few uh, Flint Heritage cars in the back. Well, thank you for joining me in another episode of Large Person Wanderings. It's always good to have a hobby. And until next time, Jerome Crest signing out. If you guys Love to hear from you in the comments below. Do not forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And also, if you guys know of any good custom model railroad builders for N scale, I'd love to hear from you down below. Because at some point, it'd be nice to have a layout to run all this stuff on. Anyway, thank you guys for watching.